I'm heading into the Labor Party headquarters in the seat of Melbourne. Now the Greens' Adam Bant is the one who currently holds his seat. He took it in 2010 after 96 years of the Labor Party holding on to it. So will they be able to take it back? Well, Kath Botel is a candidate and she wants it bad. She calls herself a progressive, but who are the people in this seat going to choose? It's one of the most progressive seats in the nation. It's a battle of my public transport versus your public transport. And who cares the most about refugees? Let's find out what's going to happen. Yeah, that's, that was kind of the, and then there's that one today. So we first of all to the Chinese anniversary singing competition. Do you know, you don't change the society unless you can form government. And that's an important part of, of representing the people of Melbourne. A voice outside government is not going to be an effective voice for the people of Melbourne. So if you want to vote Labor, that's our recommended how to vote. It's lovely, Thank great, you. thanks a lot. Have you had to green yourself up a little bit for this race this time round? No, I think that, that Labor stands for um, progressive policies and our track record is there for everyone to see. You know, we've put the price on carbon, we're building the NBN, we've put in place a progressive taxation. Another really important issue here in this electorate is asylum seekers. Sure. What are voters saying to you about Labor's policy? People are saying two things. I think that they understand that the policy is really complex. They don't like the politics that's been played out in this country over the last 15 years. Do you they like the politics? I don't like the politics that demonises asylum seekers. I don't like the politics that politicises this issue. What would and you say to people who say that the Labor Party has become part of that? Well, I would say to you one thing. 14 months ago, we said, let's take the politicians out of this and let's give the decision making to an expert panel. We tried to take the politics out of it. We signed up to every recommendation of that expert panel. The Liberal Party did not, and the Greens didn't even come into the room. So why That's is the, the Labor Party th using it then so heavily in this election if, if as you said, you want to take the politics out of it? The Labor Party is not out there campaigning on this issue. The they Labor, are in, in, in the Labor, some parts of the country. Well, well, the Labor Party is out there looking for policy solutions that save lives. Do you personally support the PNG solution? No, I don't, and I've said so. And You've raised this with Prime Minister Rudd? I have. I've raised this with the Prime Minister. I've mentioned it to him. I haven't had a chance to see much of him, um, but I've raised this with him in the short meeting that I had with him um, uh, since the policy was announced, and I've also raised it with other senior members of the, of the government. And what's their response been? Uh, they understand my position. If he wins, there's still only one seat for the Greens in the lower house. I mean, yeah, but he's a good the point, deputy isn't it? leader of the Greens. He gets tremendous airtime, and compared with Adam, um, Kath would be a marginalised backbencher because she may be more progressive than most people in the Labor Party. But it will be the the Labor right that runs the policy um, show. I'm voting for the Liberal this time because uh, Rat took it off Julie Gillard again. That's why. You're a Gillard fan, are you? That's correct. Yeah. And she's a Bulldog supporter and so am I too. <laughs> As we're stuck in traffic here in Melbourne, it's easy to see why public transport is a huge issue here in this seat. Now the Labor Party is trying to get some of these green votes on this issue because they say that they're the party to vote for if you want better public transport. So is that working with the voters? Go we'll find out. The prospect of having a toll road is going to completely ruin the social, environmental, financial future of this area. Kath Botel, the Labor candidate here in Melbourne, is against that project. Do you think that will win her a lot of votes? Adam Bant and the Greens have spoken out and taken action against the toll road and for in favour of the trains since the very beginning, since the first mention of this project. And Kath Botel and Labor have jumping on, jumped on that Adam Bant wagon. As far as Labor goes, she's, she herself is progressive, but I think as far as parties go, I mean the Greens are far more progressive than than Labor as a whole, so for, I guess for me she represents that. I'll be voting the Libs. The Libs, and why is that? Uh, because it works for me. Yeah. Yeah, paid parental leave scheme is uh, quite advantageous for our family. What about the new toll road that's being proposed in this area? It's going to go ahead anyway. Kath Botel is from the left of the party. She's progressive. She doesn't like her own party's position on refugees. Well, I mean, the fact that she doesn't like her own party's position is, is nice. I like her for that, but I still don't like her party. So it seems like many of the young hipsters around here are pretty keen to see Adam Bant be re-elected. But these housing commissions are some of the biggest in the country and they've traditionally been a Labor stronghold. How are they going to be voting this election? Since I stopped voting, I've been voting for Labor, but now I just, you know, I, I don't know who I'm going to vote for.
Yes, yes, this is a uh, auxiliary powered uh, bike. You can ride the bike lanes and the shared footpaths with it. I'm a green black fella, you might say. What I would dearly love is for an Aboriginal Prime Minister, male or female, I don't care which, or he could be the he could bat for both teams, I don't care, you know. Uh, as long you, as you're impressed with Labor then? I mean, they're the ones who did uh, say uh, sorry to the stolen generation. Yeah, uh, you look, you know, I mean, uh, I'm impressed with Labor. I've always been a Labor man, you know. So do uh, they have your vote this time round? Well, I, I can't let you know that, mate. I'm, I'm really disappointed in the whole thing. In 2010, Adam Bant won this seat with 36% of the primary vote, but also with the help of Liberal preferences. He won't be getting those Liberal preferences this time, and now he needs over 40% of the primary vote here in Melbourne to keep his seat. Now, his team have apparently door knocked over 10,000 homes along these streets the last few weeks. We'll see how they're going. How are you going? I'm Adam, I'm your local member of parliament. How are you going? Know, good, how are you? Good, are you? Good. Just coming around in the lead up to the election to yep. see if you've thought much about it and what issues are on your mind when you're deciding how to vote. Um, yeah, I guess issues that I think about are refugees, yeah. climate. What, um, what are you thinking about refugees? Um, that offshore processing is not the yeah. best solution. Yeah, the one with the basketball court and the the oval there yeah. as well. Yeah, a lot of women go do exercise there. Yeah, it's every time the election comes around, there's always this positioning from uh, from Labor people when they say they don't really agree with their party's position, and then um, come the election time, once they're in Parliament, they vote for it. That's what we saw over the last three years. But Adam, how can you enact change in a Parliament where Tony Abbott might have a majority of? of 15 seats. This won't be a minority government, perhaps. You won't have a balance of power position. Will you really well, be able to make that much difference? People in Melbourne will have the choice of a uh, deputy leader of the party that's in balance of power in the Senate, with any luck, um, or a Labor backbencher who's going to be in a potentially demoralised opposition. But for many people to have that voice in the Labor Party pushing for the party to change is a valuable thing. Can you understand why people would want to vote for Labor because of that? Well, look, the finance minister uh, is, com comes from the Labor left and they um, directed their party members to vote to cut single parent payments. Adam, if you don't win on Saturday, do you think that will be a strong message to the Greens that they should concentrate on the Senate. I think for us to uh, have an ongoing impact on the national stage, we need to be in both houses of parliament. Why did you vote for Greens last time, but you're not uh, voting for them this time? Well, I, I would vote for Greens this time, but I think it's so important this election that Labor gets back in. Well, I liked the Labor Party in the last election. Who do you think of when you think of progressive politics? Um, Alfred Deakin. I think of him as a very, very progressive. He's not in this election, is he? 